Gopi Jana Vala Bam Girivara Rai Shodanandana Vajrajana Ranjana Yamuna Tira Vanachari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Vihari Jaya Vishnupad Paramahamsa Parvajakacharya Astar Sata Sri Sri Mad This Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai Ananta Koti Vaishnavrinda Ki Jai Iskand Founder Acharya Sri La Prabhupada Ki Jai Grantarad Sri Mad Bhagavatam Ki Jai Gora Premananda all glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to Sri Sri Guru and Garanga. Glories to Sri La Prabhupada. <clears throat> Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Srimad Bhagavatam Canto 1 Chapter 2 Divinity and Divine Service Text 18 Nashta Prayesh Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki Nashta Prayeshra Bhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavat Yutama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki Nashta Prayesh Vabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavat Yutama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki Nashta Prayesh Vabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavat Yutama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki Nashta Prayesha Bhadreshu Bhagavata Sevaya Yatu Tamas Loke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki Tapraya Shubhadre Shu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Tamas Loke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki Nasta Prayeshva Bhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke 
Bhakti Bhavati Naishtiki Nashtra Prayesha Bhadre Tu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhakti Bhavati Naishtiki Vaishnavis Nashta destroyed Prayeshu almost to nil Abadreshu all that is inauspicious Nityam regularly Bhagavata Srimad Bhagavatam, or the pure devotee, Sevaya, by serving, Bhagavati, unto the personality of Godhead, Uttama, transcendental, Shloke, prayers. Bhaktihi, loving service. Bhavati, comes into being. Naishtiki, irrevocable. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Translation. By regular attendance and classes on the Bhagavatam and by rendering of service to the pure devotee, all that is troublesome to the heart is almost completely destroyed and loving service unto the personality of Godhead who is praised with transcendental songs is established as an irrevocable fact, purport. Here is the remedy for eliminating all inauspicious things within the heart, which are considered to be obstacles in the path of self-realization. The remedy is the association of the Bhagavatas. There are two types of Bhagavatas, namely the book Bhagavata and the devotee Bhagavata. Both the Bhagavatas are competent remedies and both of them or either of them can be good enough to eliminate the obstacles. A devotee Bhagavata is good as the book Bhagavata because the devotee Bhagavata leads his life in terms of the book Bhagavata and the book Bhagavata is full of information about the personality of Godhead and his pure devotees who are also Bhagavatas. Bhagavata book and person are identical. The devotee Bhagavata is a direct representative of Bhagavan, the personality of Godhead. So, by pleasing the devotee Bhagavata, one can receive the benefit of the book Bhagavata. Human reason fails to understand how by serving the devotee Bhagavata or the book Bhagavata, one gets gradual promotion on the path of devotion. But actually, these are facts explained by Srila Narada Dev, who happened to be a maid servant's son in his previous life. The maidservant was engaged in the menial service of the sages. 
and thus he also came in contact with them. And simply by associating with them and accepting <clears throat> the remnants of foodstuff left by the sages, the son of the maidservant got the chance to become the great devotee and personality Srila Narada Dev. These are the miraculous effects of the association of the Bhagavatas. And to understand these effects practically, it should be noted that by such sincere association of the Bhagavatas, one is sure to receive transcendental knowledge very easily with the result that he becomes fixed in the devotional service of the Lord. The more progress is made in devotional service under the guidance of the Bhagavatas, the more one becomes fixed in the transcendental loving service of the Lord. The message of the book Bhagavata, therefore, have to be received from the devotee Bhagavata. And the combination of these two Bhagavatas will help the neophyte devotee to make progress on and on. Om Jnana Timurandasya Gananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasudhi Gaur Bhaktivinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So sometimes people have you know, some favorite band or musician and they like to listen to the greatest hits of the band. So we're getting the greatest hits of the Srimad Bhagavatam in these verses, just one after another. It's one very famous, prominent verse of the Srimad Bhagavatam after another. <clears throat> so, this particular verse of the Srimad Bhagavatam is one that Srila Prabhupada lectured on a few times, and in addition to giving lectures about this specific verse. He often quoted it, of course. <laughs> so, uh, once in 1972, Srila Prabhupada gave a class on this verse in, uh, here in Los Angeles in New Dwarka. And he, he lectured on the same verse in other cities as well. So, some of the points that he made about this verse, I'll go through. Uh, one thing he said here in Los Angeles is that it says in the verse, uh, Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya, not Nitya Bhagavan Sevaya. Bhagavan is the personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna. And Bhagavata means something that is related to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Bhagavan. So Bhagavan is God. Bhagavata means something that's in 
relationship to God. <laughs> and once uh, Parvati, the wife of Lord Shiva, asked Shiva, what is the greatest form of worship? And Shiva replied to Parvati, Aradhananam Sarvesham, Vishnu Aradhanam Param, Tasmat Parataram Devi, Tadiyanam Samarchanam. So that means of all forms of worship, worship of Vishnu, Bhagavan, Sri Krishna is the highest. But Shiva said, Tasmat Parataram Devi, O oh Devi, there's something higher than that. And what is that? Tadiyanam Samarchanam, the worship of those things that are connected with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In other words, the Bhagavatas. And in this verse and purport, uh, two Bhagavatas are being specifically stressed. <laughs> the book Bhagavata, principally the Srimad Bhagavatam, and the person Bhagavata. And it can mean any pure devotee of the Supreme Lord. But in our international society for Krishna consciousness, we especially focus our attention on his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, who was the founder Acharya of that society. And also because he gave us the book Bhagavata. So Srila Prabhupada is the person Bhagavata and the Srimad Bhagavatam is the book Bhagavata. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so this is one point that Srila Prabhupada made, that it's very difficult to approach Krishna directly. Therefore, we have to approach Bhagavan, Krishna, through things that are connected with Krishna, the Bhagavata devotee and the Bhagavata book, the Srimad Bhagavatam. <clears throat> so that's one point he made about this verse. <clears throat> and he also repeatedly spoke about this word prayeshu, <clears throat> almost to nil. <clears throat> Nashta prayeshu badreshu, the bad things, the contaminations, the impurities in the heart are almost completely destroyed in the beginning phases of devotional service. He said repeatedly, we can't say that all the anartas, all the abhadras are removed from our hearts at this point. Bhadra means something that's good. It can also mean gentleman or gentlewoman. An abhadra means the opposite, something that's bad, uncivilized, unhelpful to our progress in spiritual life. <clears throat> so he said, Nashta these things are almost completely destroyed. There may be some remnant. Uh, in the class he gave on this verse in Los Angeles, he said, if it's even 75% destroyed, you can still have uh, Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtaki. You can still have a devotional service 
that is fixed. Nishtaki means irrevocable. <clears throat> so <clears throat> sometimes he'd say 50%, 60%. But the point he was making that he made repeatedly was that even if someone is not completely freed from all anartas, if they're seriously engaged in the process of service to the book Bhagavata by hearing it regularly, you know, we're having, you know, he established that there would be a class in the Srimad Bhagavatam every day in all of the centers of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, that we would also distribute this book, Srimad Bhagavatam. If one is seriously engaged in service to the book Bhagavata and the devotee Bhagavata, then one can become fixed in devotional service, even if one is not at the completely pure stage. <clears throat> uh, this stage is sometimes called nishta, means firm faith. The process of devotional service begins with shraddha, which means some initial faith. <clears throat> You know, Srila Prabhupada said, we're establishing these centers of the Hare Krishna movement all over the world to help people get some shraddha, some initial faith. You know, they come here, they see, oh, this is nice. They develop a little shraddha, a little initial faith. And then they want to associate with the devotees, sadhu sangha. Sadhu is the devotees, sangha means association. So if somebody has some little initial faith, they'll want to associate more and more with the sadhus, the devotees of the Lord. And then bhajana kriya, they'll want to take up the activities of the devotees of the Lord, which culminate in taking initiation from bona fide spiritual master and engaging in devotional service under his direction. <clears throat> and then if somebody does that, then the next stage is anarta nevritti, the removal of unwanted things the abhadranis, the faults, the contaminations from within the heart. That's part of the process of Krishna consciousness as given to us by Lord Chaitanya, who in his Shikshastakam prayer said, Chaitano Dharpana Marjanam, you know, the process of Krishna consciousness is one of cleansing the mirror of the heart from the dust that's accumulated over many, many lifetimes. <clears throat> Jivaras Rupahoy Krishnaranitya Das. The soul is by nature, by constitution, an eternal servant of the Supreme personality of Godhead, but when by misuse of free will, it is thinking itself to be an independent enjoyer, then it becomes covered with different kinds of impurities. And the original pure Krishna consciousness becomes covered. So the process of Krishna consciousness is one of purifying the heart, purifying the consciousness so that it can reflect 
the original pure nature of the soul in relationship with the Supreme Personality of, of Godhead. <clears throat> so then when contamination is removed and Srila Prabhupada says not even completely but you know 75% or more then one can attain the stage of nishta which is firm faith in the process of devotional service that if I continue to practice the principles of bhakti yoga I will come to the perfectional stage very soon. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says, Chipram Bhavati Dharma Adma Shashvat Shantim Nagachati. Very quickly, you know, if somebody takes up this process, one will come to the perfectional stage. <clears throat> so that was. <clears throat> Another point that Srila Prabhupada made about this verse, he commented on this term, prayeshu, almost to nil. Another point that he often made about this verse was in relationship to the term nityam bhagavata sevaya, <clears throat> regularly hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam from the pure devotee. Um, he said, it doesn't say saptaha. <clears throat> you know, he, Srila Prabhupada would often comment on this point in this verse, you know, that there's a process of hearing the Bhagavatam for seven days from a professional reciter. <clears throat> you know, people, some professional reciters of the Bhagavatam make a living doing that. You know, you know, so that you hear the Bhagavatam for seven days. And Srila Prabhupada said, it doesn't say... Uh, Saptaha Bhagavata Sevaya. It says Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya, that every day you're hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam. So, I suppose, in addition to that, if you're regularly hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam every day, if in addition to that you want to make some special effort to hear. Uh, the Srimad Bhagavatam from a genuine devotee, not a professional reciter, then you know, that can also be good. But he said, Srila Prabhupada often said, Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya, every day one should hear and recite the Srimad Bhagavatam. <clears throat> So these are some of the points that Srila Prabhupada would make about this verse when he would lecture upon it. <clears throat> and, you know, he, as he's stressing in the purport here, <clears throat> One, in order to properly understand the Srimad Bhagavatam, one has to receive it from a proper person. Evam parampara praptam. You know, this Vedic knowledge is received by the process of parampara or disciplic succession. It ultimately begins with Krishna. So, the Srimad Bhagavatam has a history. <clears throat> if we look in the Srimad Bhagavatam itself, it explains that history. That in the beginning, 
of creation, the Srimad Bhagavatam in a condensed form was explained by Lord Krishna to Lord Brahma, the first living entity within the universe. He was sitting on the lotus flower that comes from the Garbhadakshai Vishnu at the beginning of creation. And at that time, Lord Krishna spoke uh, the Srimad Bhagavatam in a condensed form to him. And then Lord Brahma, <coughs> the demigod Brahma, spoke the Bhagavatam to the sage Narada Muni and told him to expand it. <coughs> and eventually Narada Muni spoke the Bhagavatam to <coughs> Srila Vyasadeva and instructed him to compose the Bhagavatam that we have now, which has been handed down in disciplic succession since the time of Vyasadeva, who is the author of the Bhagavatam as we've received it from Srila Prabhupada. The devotee Bhagavata. So that is really an essential point that Srila Prabhupada, the devotee Bhagavata, gave us this book Bhagavata. And he did it with great personal sacrifice. <clears throat> you know, he first of all had to translate the Srimad Bhagavatam. It, it's really an immense work. You know, so many cantos, 18,000 or more verses, and he had to translate it. <clears throat> in a way that was both faithful to the message of the Bhagavatam and the previous Acharyas, yet at the same time suitable for the English-speaking public, for the public outside of India in the West, because that's what he was ordered to do by his spiritual master, to communicate these teachings to the Western world. So first of all, he had to translate this, prepare a manuscript. And then he had to get that manuscript printed. So he had to raise money for the printing he had to purchase paper for the printing, find a print shop that would print the books. And he got printed the first volume of the first canto. You know, he published the first canto in New Delhi uh, in three volumes. So after he got the first volume printed, you know, the printer wouldn't give him all the books. The printer would give him a hundred copies, he'd sell them, get money, and then get more books. <clears throat> you can still go to New Delhi and the old part of New Delhi and see the places where he was doing all this, where he was translating the print shops he was going to, the paper shops he was going to, the book binding shops where he was getting the pages bound. So, uh, so from selling the first volume, he got money to print the second volume and then the third. And then, only then, did he come to the West to the United States in, excuse me, in 19, uh, 
65 because he thought, okay, now I have something to actually give to people. The book Bhagavata, the personality of Godhead in book form. But he also came himself, and that was also essential because without him coming to properly present and explain the book Bhagavata, without the devotee Bhagavata, we wouldn't have understood it. And we would have never have been able to figure out how to live our lives according to the teachings of the book Bhagavata and the devotee Bhagavata. <clears throat> so <clears throat> it's a very important verse here. I'll read it one more time. By regular attendance and classes on the Bhagavatam and by rendering service to the pure devotee, all that is troublesome to the heart is almost completely destroyed and loving service under the personality of Godhead who is praised with transcendental songs is established as an irrevocable fact. <clears throat> Any comment or question? Yes, Ananda Kirtan. Thank you for the very nice class. It was really amazing. Just had a question when you were talking about the stages of devotional service that Rupa Goswami talks about in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. When um, you know when one's going through Anartani Vriti, I was wondering how does it work? Because sometimes it seems that some of the stages will overlap each other. Like someone will be going through Anartani Vriti, but experience symptoms of nishta and ruchi although they're not on, completely on that platform because there's they still have contamination in the heart so it's wondering if you can explain that well i'll explain it in terms of what i heard srila Prabhupada say about it yeah you know, when i was studying for this class said <clears throat> it has to the anartanavritti or the abhadranis have to be removed up to a certain point or else one won't develop that nishta or firm faith. And you know, he gave a figure. You know, he said 75%. Uh, in other words, there has to be sufficient purification of the heart a sufficient amount of anarta nivritti for one to be able to come to this stage of nishta uh, or bhakti naishtiki, you know, where that devotional service is established as an irrevocable fact <clears throat> in one's heart. According to Srila Prabhupada, the anartas don't have to be completely removed, but a good percentage of them have to be completely removed. And then one can make further progress. And he quoted this verse from Bhagavad Gita, Shipram Bhavati Dharmatma, very quickly one will come to the perfectional stage. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai.